All right, guys, lightning fast on this one. Let's quickly look at how to thread the Conso 206 RB1 walking foot. Threading an industrial machine starts at the thread stand. You need to come off the top of the thread up through an eyelet in the thread stand and back down to the guide post on top of the machine. Hit the guide post two times, one from back to front and one from right to left as you make your way down to the tension assembly. There's three guide holes at the top of the tension assembly. Hit them from right to left. You can either do all three or at least the top and bottom. At that point, go ahead and make sure that your presser foot is raised. That'll loosen the tension discs a bit, so you can slide that thread easily between the two tension discs. Come right around this way, go between the discs of the thread controller, hold your thread back here, lift until it clicks into place. Make sure that as you lift the thread, you're acting on the spring of the tension controller. Up through the guide, on your way to the take-up arm. Take-up arm, right to left. Back down through the guide, you've already been up through once. We've got a guide on the face of the machine, and then a loose guide here that may or may not contain a little piece of felt. This is your needle bar, and right at the bottom where you insert the needle, you'll see this needle bar thread guide. Give yourself a little bit of slack in the thread, and see if you can hook around the left side of that. If you can go in that way, that's often the easiest way to thread your machine. Sometimes there's a captive hole and you can't swing around the left side of it. You simply have to poke the thread through the hole and that's fine as well. Now, if your machine doesn't have a needle bar thread guide, don't be fooled into thinking it doesn't need one. It's just missing and you'll need to source this easily available and very inexpensive part. If you're missing that part and you have no needle bar thread guide, what you'll experience is frequent thread shredding of your upper thread. One thing I'll have you do is never set up a sewing machine with the needle that's in it. Go ahead and pop a fresh needle in there. If that needle is slightly bent or it's the wrong needle system, your machine won't work correctly. For the Conso 206 RB1, you're looking for a 13517 needle system. That also might be called a 13516 if it's got a leather point, but there's also a size associated with that. We're sewing with a size 20 because we're using 92 weight thread. Start with that combination when you're tuning your machine. 92 weight thread and a size 19 or size 20 needle. When you insert the new needle, make sure that the long groove is on the left and the scarf or notch is on the right. There's no flat spot on the top of the needle for industrial machines, so you'll have to double check it as you tighten the screw. And just gentle pressure as you snug that screw up, not too tight. Then just go ahead and thread the needle from left to right. Loosely hold the upper thread back as you roll the hand wheel towards you and you'll be able to pick up the bobbin thread. There we are. Just pass a little object underneath the presser foot and you're ready to sew. It's always a good idea to hold your threads back as you start to sew. And from there you can go ahead and balance out your tension. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Happy sewing! Mm -hmm.